Okay, so for the samosa filling, tutatengeneza kitungu yetu hapa. We'll just dice it in very, very tiny pieces. Just cut it. use any onions you prefer you don't have to use the red ones mostly people prefer the spring onions but this is what i had in them in my house so i'm going to use the red onion i'm gonna have like two Uh, that's much and uh, we're gonna have add some danias chopped I, i'm going i was going to add uh piripili but i'm not going to add it because my son will have to eat this so i decided i'll skip on the piripili but if you want you can add and then here we have some our minced meat uh it's not a lot this about 0 0.25 grams i think yeah i got it this from the supermarket but you can always get yours done from the butcher so this if this is beef this is what i'm going to cook with so send it karange easy let's fry all these things together so that we get our fillings for the samosas Okay, so on our pot, let's light this the fire. Sorry, guys. There. I'll add the minced meat. And I'll add just some little water to boil it a little bit like half a cup oh sorry my meat was uh, not the lean meat that's why it looks whitish because you can always go for the lean meat so we are just going to boil this for a little bit while so that it cooks evenly until the meat is not white like it cooks don't want to have uncooked meat. Now that we have our pockets here, so I'm going to show you how to fold them. You get a small bowl or a cup and then add some flour. Like two tablespoons and a tablespoon of water. We are going to make a paste. It's like the glue to stick the the flour together. Make a 
sorry guys everything seems out now my camera I'm messing up so i need to have a camera person now uh, here we go we make a paste this will be like our glue is here our glue and our pocket that's it how do we make this thing this thing always confuses me we do like that then like that yes then on this edge i place my glue always confusing i've never gotten it completely don't judge me guys i'm trying so here we have our pocket in here we're going to place our filling just like a one tablespoon then there Again, we go with our glue. Put it. In here. Stick there. Then I can place some more here. So that I can stick that side there. This is the hardest part guys to do. I don't know how to do this so nicely. Don't judge me. I'm not perfect. I'm learning to. Here we go. Have a packet. Not perfect. But completely done. Let's do the second one. Maybe we'll get this one. Um, supposed to go like that. Then like that. I put on this side the glue to stick there. Then I have my pocket ready here. I get my filling. I add. Don't add to the three because we need to seal it again. I'm so poor in doing this, but I do try. I try. I'm not perfect. Going to cut that edge, it's long. There we go, not perfect but nice. We'll continue doing like that until all my filling is done. So let me do it, guys. Pull the pole out of the camera, then I'll show you when I'm done. Everything. So here we are. The samosa is not the best. Now we're going to fry them. Let's go and fry them. That's how you make samosas. Let's fry them. So going to place some oil in the scurrya heat. We wait for it to heat up, then we fry our samosas and we are done. Yeah! Look, our oil is hot 
let's try with this kalito unga not yet not yet let's wait or you can just put them so that they go cook slow so here you are the first one Ones. So I can only fit three in my sphere. at a time. So yes, who can take their golden brown on both sides? Can keep turning them. I'm not so perfect. I didn't make this pocket nicely so it's coming apart but we are learning. The next time we do it, we'll be perfect. If anyone knows how to make samosas, kindly, kindly come and collab with me and we do this thing. I really, really love making samosas but they only stand back. The shape. Every other part is okay, but when it gets to this part of shaping, I'm not so good in that. And then they are cooking like chapatis. <laughs> My God, this is a fail. Hmm? This is a fail, this is a fail, this is a fail. Hmm. They are coming together. I'm not going to make a little of it, don't you know? Oh, they are coming together. Yes, we cook until they are golden brown. Uh-uh. I need green days a bit closer. supposed to be dry. I'm going to make our coffee oh. Yes, we are coming together guys. Yes. Yeah, you see? Because I don't know how to make the pockets, now the oil is getting inside like this one which has bubbles. If you see that way, just know that your pocket had a hole in it. So I think my samosas here are done. Oh my god, what is happening today? They are done, so I'm just going to remove it and place them in a paper towel. Guys, here is our samosas. It's a fail, but we learn every day. Tomorrow we are going to do better. Today was a trial, but tomorrow we will be better. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Okay, let me look at you. Well, guys, that is it. It's a fail. We failed terribly. I feel terrible. I thought I had got this skill together but i don't know when the camera is there things don't work but when there's no camera they came out perfectly i don't know what happened 
but mostly on the shapes that's where i fail anyway they are okay they are eatable see the fact that we can eat it's not like that we can't eat it's only that they are not very presentable but every day is a learning day today we've learned we've learned our mistake but i keep on trying and trying until i can make it you're not giving up guys you're not giving up i love cooking and i try different recipes all the time so i'll keep on trying and keep on trying they're not that bad but they are also not that good you see i don't know how to fold nicely that is where i'm going wrong it's not so bad but again anyway but they are crunchy let's have some taste and i'll tell you how they are tasting hmm They are yummy, even though they are shapeless. The shape is not so good, but they are yummy and a bit crunchy. Not so soft, but they are yummy. Will I just enjoy them like that because I'm cooking for my family? It's not like I have guests. If I had guests, I wouldn't try to cook. I'll definitely invite somebody to come and cook for me, or I go and buy the ready one. I just come and deep fry one, deep fry because they are some which are already in the supermarket, which are always done. So you just come and deep fry. So that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Try your recipe and tell me how it goes. I am not sure what I did here, but go and try yours and see how it goes along. And if you want to see the perfect one, there's this uh, lady, but she speaks in Swahili. She's, her channel is named uh, Mapishi Rahisi. Go to her channel and find out how to cook nice samosas, not like mine. Mine are a fail. Bye guys, until the next one. Now tender.